Hello everybody. Welcome to Every Rock Has a Story. Today's story is all about crystals. Huge crystals. In fact, the rock of the day that I'll be talking about is the biggest crystal that I've brought. You might have noticed this one shining and glistening in the background. It's this one right here. And it's very heavy. I think I can pick it up with just one hand. Whoa, my goodness. But it is heavy. Look at this. This is a single crystal. All minerals are crystals, but sometimes the crystals aren't formed very well. You can't see them very well. Sometimes they're very small or all broken up. But this one is a beautiful crystal. This crystal face can reflect the light. And what's neat about this crystal is it's flat on this side. It's kind of thin and then flat on the other side too. And it's kind of angled like that. Do you see that? I'll take this a little bit closer so you can see it. But of course it's so big, I don't have to take it too close. There's this crystal. Isn't that amazing? I'll tell you the name of this mineral in a second, but one of the thing you might notice, it's got a lot of scratches in it. That's because this mineral is very soft. In fact, there's only one other mineral that I brought that's softer than this one. This one's so soft you can scratch it just with your fingernail. Oops, look at that. This is a crystal of a mineral called gypsum. This is a beautiful crystal of gypsum. Gypsum is a very important mineral, and the story that I want to tell about gypsum has to do with a cave, a deep cave. And in fact, this story takes us to the country of Mexico, where about 20 years ago, some miners, miners who were looking for silver, dug deep down into a cave, 100, 200, 300 feet deep into the ground. And one day they poked into a new cave and when they walked in, they saw giant crystals of gypsum. Now they weren't crystals quite like this. Sometimes the same mineral, like gypsum, can have more than one variety of crystal, more than one form of crystal that it makes. This is one type of gypsum crystal that we had in our collection at Boston College. I didn't collect this one. But the giant crystals they saw in this cave in Mexico called the Cave of Crystals. They were crystals of gypsum, but much longer and pointier. Sometimes those crystals are called selenite selenite, but it's just another variety of gypsum. Those crystals are some of the biggest crystals ever found anywhere. And they form deep, deep in the earth. How did they form? I'll tell you. Deep in the earth below that cave, there was a hot, hot magma, molten rock, pumping up heat towards the surface. But there was something else coming out of that magma. There was water that was carrying sulfur. Sulfur. And if you know anything about sulfur, you know that it's yellow. In fact, I have some sulfur right here. That yellow sulfur, and let me bring that a little bit closer too. Because I think for this one, for this story, you want to know about the gypsum, and you want to know about that yellow sulfur. That's sulfur. And to make this gypsum, that hot magma was releasing hot water, really hot water. And in that water was lots of dissolved sulfur, this yellow stuff. And that sulfur came up and it got into the caves. And the water from the surface brought lots of oxygen down to the cave. So when the sulfur met the oxygen from the water and the rain and the surface drip, drip, dripping down into those caves, it made gypsum. 
Gypsum is made out of sulfur, oxygen, and calcium. Calcium is the stuff that makes your bones. Hmm. I wonder if bones are another mineral. We'll talk about that story another day. But this is calcium, sulfur, and oxygen. And the crystals in this mine were up to 50 feet long, four feet around, and they weighed tons and tons. They were some of the biggest crystals ever found. And if you don't believe me, you can Google Cave of Crystals with your parents and see pictures for yourself. I brought one picture that I can show you. Let me set this down right here because it's so heavy. And let me come over here and show you the picture that I found on the internet. Look at that. All of those are giant crystals of gypsum, the crystal variety called selenite. Those are people in their orange suits. Those crystals are bigger than the people. They're huge. And it was so hot down there in this mine in Mexico. So hot, it was almost 140 degrees. And it was super, super wet and sticky. Because the other thing you need to make gypsum is water. Sulfur that comes from those deep magmas Water, some of it comes from the magma water coming off and some of it comes from the rain dripping down from the top. And calcium, that's what it takes to make this stuff. And these beautiful crystals are all made of those things. Calcium, sulfur, oxygen, and a little bit of water. It's fun to think about what minerals like this, what crystals like this are made of because all the crystals are made of different things. And isn't it kind of surprising that this clear mineral, see, I can wave to you through this, this crystal, it's so clear, is actually made of sulfur, which is yellow. Sometimes when you mix the ingredients together, they don't look the way they started, do they? It's kind of like making a cake. All those ingredients to make a cake look different by their, by their cells. When you mix them all together, you get something beautiful or yummy cake, or a beautiful crystal of gypsum like this. The other thing I want to tell you about gypsum, it forms in a lot of different ways. I'll tell you some other stories about other ways that it forms. But we actually mine this gypsum. People do. They take this stuff out of the ground, and it does all kinds of useful things for us. But the most interesting thing that it does, that we do with gypsum, the walls. The plaster walls in our houses and buildings are mostly made out of gypsum. It gets all ground up into a fine powder and done some processing and work to it to make it just right, and it makes the walls. So sometimes these beautiful crystals help us make things like the walls in our buildings. So walls are made out of gypsum. And this gypsum was made out of a hot magma, hot water with sulfur calcium and oxygen from the Earth's surface, making these beautiful crystals like this one right here. I hope you enjoyed this story about crystals and about walls. I look forward to seeing you at my next Every Rock Has a Story video. Bye-bye.